Hello guys, welcome again. So in our last video, we have learned how to represent an IP address. In today's video, we'll learn what, what is classful IP addressing. So what were the need of classful IP addressing? First, let's understand how we identify one device in a, in a network or in the internet. The internet is nothing but collection of, uh, you can say millions of networks. So to identify a particular device or server or website, first we need to identify to which network it belongs and then we need to find the host the particular host so the 32 bit long ip address has been divided in such a way that some portion of it will be used to identify the network part and some portion of it will be used to identify the host part so what happened uh, previously before 80s uh, the, the engineers and scientists thought that probably uh, the first six bits of the IP for addressing those six bits will be sufficient for identifying any any kind of network and uh, people used to have at max 64 networks that time so with six bits uh, what number we can get uh, what uh, how many com com possible combinations we can get it's 2 to the power 6 that is 64 but after 1981 they they uh, realized that uh, six bits is not enough for uh, networks because the organization started to have more than 64 networks in internally so they decided to launch uh, some uh, classes of ip addressing where the the uh, customers will be having the option to choose a huge uh, large network instead of, with, with the compensation of less number of hosts so they invented five classes of uh, ip addressing uh, these are class a class b class c class d and class e so in class a class b class c we'll discuss detail uh, in detail how it's represented so what they decided in class a ip addressing they decided to keep the first bit of that 32 bit number to keep it as zero so how many bits are left now 31 bits are left among those 31 bits the f after zero the second uh, the s seven bits that comes after zero will be uh, used to represent uh, the networks so with seven bits how many networks are possible it's two to the power seven why 2 to the power 7? Because each bit can be either 0 or 1. So uh, if we calculate the power of 2, we get the number of combinations. Just like with 2 bits, how many combinations are possible? It's 4 combinations. Uh, what are those combinations? It's 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1. So in class A, the first leading bit is 0. And the rest of the 7 bits of the first octet will be used for uh, various combinations to represent different net network IDs. Class B what they what they decided they decided to keep the first two bits as one zero and the next 14 bits after that will be used to represent different network ids so in case of class b the first 16 bit is fixed that is used to represent the network ids and the rest of the 16 bits will be used to represent the hosts in, in those networks so what are the total num possible number of uh, networks in class b networking it's 2 to the power 14 why 14 because the first two bits are fixed those are one zero and the second uh, 14 bits will be used to represent the network ids and the rest of the 16 bits will be used to represent the hosts in this network and how many total number of hosts will be possible uh, in, in class b network it's nothing but 2 to the power 16 so in class b 2 to the power 16 hosts are po were possible in for each network and in similarly in class a we we used to we used to use uh, first eight bits to represent the network IDs. Among those, the only the first bit was uh, fixed, that was zero, and the rest twenty four bits used to represent the hosts. And with class A, a total number of two to the power twenty four hosts were possible in each uh, network. So in class C, what they decided they decided to keep the first three bits of the thirty two bit number as one one zero. And the rest 21 bits we can alter to represent different network IDs. So how many bits are left for class C for representing the uh, host part? We had only 8 bits to represent the host part. So with, with each class C networks, a total of 2 to the power hosts were possible. 
for each network in case of class d a class d uh, was used for class d is still used for a different purpose that is multicasting so we will learn in detail about multicasting when we will be learning about the routing and ospf and uh, class e and ip address space is reserved for experimental purpose and it's also used for defense purposes so now let's uh, jump into the wikipedia page and uh, learn in detail about uh, the numbers of this uh, class a class b and class c so this is the wikipedia page for uh, classful ip addressing here let's start with class a so as i as i said for class a the first bit is kept as zero it's it's always fixed in case of class a ip addressing and the size of the network part was first eight bits so why i'm saying was because we don't use uh, classful ip addressing anymore scientists felt of classful ip addressing just to expand the network part because the number of networks possible with ip addresses uh, were being exhausted that time so after 1990s, they they, they saw that uh, even the classful IP addressing uh, was not enough to, co to cover up all the uh, uh, need of networks. So uh, after 1990s, the organizations started to have more and more need of networks. So uh, let's now come back to this. So the size of the rest of the bit field uh, uh, was 24. And these 24 bits to, uh, are used to represent the host part. So what are the uh, total number of networks possible with class A IP address? It's 2 to the power 7 and the number is 128. Why 2 to the power 7? Because the first bit is fixed. That is 0. How many hosts per network or addresses per network uh, was possible? It's 2 to the power 24. First 8 bit is kept for the network part and the rest of the 24 bits are kept for the host part and the total number of possible IP addresses are 2 to the power 24. So the total addresses in class were 2 to the power 31. Why? Because the first bit is 0 and you can, uh, you can calculate the rest of the combinations using 2 to the power and that is 2 to the power 31. So what is the start address? Start address is this 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0. Start address is nothing but you, if you put zero in all the 32 bits it and convert that form to dotted decimal format uh, if you want to know how to convert in my last video i have discussed how to convert from binary to decimal and decimal to binary so this is the first address and what is the end address of uh, class a network that is 127.255.255.255 so and how to how to calculate the end address you the zero is fixed and you put one in rest all the places all the, put one in all the th 31 bits you convert that to dotted decimal format you will get this address so this is the end address and uh, we'll discuss our subnet mask uh, later uh, for now you can you can assume that subnet mask is used to represent how many bits of the uh, ip address will be used to represent the network part and how many bits will be used to represent the host part so slash 8 means the first 8 bits will be used to represent the network part like in for class b slash 16 means the first 16 bits will be used to represent the uh, network part similarly for class c the first 24 bits are used to uh, represent the network part now let's come to class c i'm skipping class b because it's same the calculation will be same so in class c the first three bits are kept uh, as constant that is 110 and uh, the number of total number of bits we use to represent the network is 24 among 24 bits the first three bits the leading bits you can say leading it says leading the leading bits are always fixed and it's 110 and the size of the uh, network uh, the size of the host part is 8 so the total number of hosts possible is 2 to the power 8 256 hosts are possible for each class c network and the total number of networks possible with class c is 20 lakh 97152 is 2 to the power 21 why 2 to the power 21 why not 2 to the power 24 because the first three bits are always fixed for class c so this what is the start address start address of uh, class c network is 192.0.0.0 how to calculate the start address you put 
uh, the uh, uh, the fixed bits as it is and put the rest of the bits as zero so you will get this address what is the end address of class c network you put first three bits as 110 among those 32 bits and you put one in all the places so you will get this number this is the last address and the subnet mask is slash 24 because we are using first 24 bits to represent the network part and similarly class d class e we don't need to discuss it we just need to know the purpose of class d class e uses for multicasting which is used in routing and class e used for defense purposes and experimental purposes so as uh, classful ip addressing was not enough to uh, suffice the uh, need for more networks after 1991 the scientists decided to and the scientists and engineers decided to uh, represent cidr that is classless interdomain routing so we'll discuss our classless interdomain routing in our next videos before that we'll learn detail details about subnets and how to plan ip addressing for your network and your organization after that uh, we'll jump to tcp ip stack or osi stack please do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching have a good day bye bye